Last week, OpenAI launched their first open model series, GPT OSS, but you guys also launched GPT-5 in the same week. Today, we're diving into a question a lot of people are asking, when should you use GPT OSS and when should you pick GPT-5? So Dominic, let's start with the big one. For someone deciding between the two models, how should they think about it? So GPT OSS is great for use cases where you really need to have on-premise deployments or if you have use cases where very low latency or cost control matters. It's also great for research-focused use cases where you need more control over the model or access to the raw chain of thought. On the other hand, GPT-5 is our state-of-the-art model. So it's great for multimodal use cases, situations where you need top-of-the-line capabilities, or if you want to rely on OpenAI's API platform. Both of those model families, though, should be very complementary and integrate nicely into existing tooling like Agents SDK and Codex CLI. And since GPT OSS is released openly under Apache 2 licensing, I'm guessing cost works a little differently. So how should developers think about cost between the two models? So since GPT OSS is an open model, uh, we see providers host the model at very different prices. But we try to make sure that the model can run very efficiently, both locally and in data centers. We also provide you with the ability to adjust the reasoning effort between low, medium, and high, so that you can better control the overall cost per task. That makes sense. I think another topic developers would be really curious about is reliability. Anytime you give developers raw chain of thought access, you're bound to get questions about hallucinations or unsafe content. So how are you guys handling that? We intentionally didn't filter or put constraints on the chain of thought during training to aid the model interpretability research. But that also means that hallucinations and harmful content can be in the chain of thought. And so we don't recommend surfacing it directly to the end user. Outside of that, we also took safety very seriously and made sure that it adheres to our model card. One last thing, but just finish the sentence. You use GPT OSS when? You need an open model with a permissive Apache 2, in this case, license, and need a model for agentic tasks or solving complex problems. GPT OSS is the way to go. Sounds good. And if you want to try GPT OSS today, you can try it on Cerebus for free. Head to cloud.cerebus.ai, grab an API key, and start building. Exactly. Go and make something amazing.